Okay, it's Laurie here. Little clinic on um, putting lead lights into a coach. I've got a coach sitting there, which I'm going to put lights in there. So three leads that I've um, actually put in there. These are large leads. They won't be seen under the roof, but um, just to put the circuit together to make this safe and uh, so that we don't get anti flicker, we're going to put a um, capacitor in. And I've used a 25 volt rather than 16. It's just a bit safer using a higher voltage um, right, um, than it is using a 16 just in case you get a surge. You've got to make a um, bridge rectifier. This just converts the DC, which will be this DC in, these two. There's a negative out, which will be DC. So that's DCC, those two. That's DC negative, and that'll be DC positive. If you look at the um, at a diode, you'll see the um, little silver line on it. So the power can only come through that way. It can't go backwards. The power only flows in one direction with a diode. So you can't go wrong with those. So you're putting those together. If you can see the, the pattern that I've got, the silver end, silver end, silver end, silver end. So the power is coming in. It's flying through there. The negative coming out there on DC and the positive coming out. Now, to put a capacitor in, you'll notice that on a capacitor, whoop, we've got the stripes. That's the negative side. The short leg there, the long leg. So we're going to connect the negative side onto the negative of the capacitor and then the positive DC onto the long leg. That's the DCC in. So what I've got here, there's my one I've made up there already. So you can see how I've got that. I just moved this around a bit. So I'm using the DCC is the red and the black. So they're coming in. And then the white is the negative DC. So that's converting DCC to DC power, like it's normal 12 volt. And the blue is the positive. So the blue will go onto the positive lead on the capacitor and the white will go onto this negative one now the negative is right next to that pin there the short one so you can't go wrong and then you, from there you can take off to will go off to the leads there's a resistor on the uh, on here I've got a 1k resistor sitting on the leads a resistor it doesn't matter which way you put a resistor in they can go backwards forwards and that so anyone who's learning electronics and that a resistor is just resisting the the power coming in so on DCC you've normally got 12 14 volts uh, coming in a 1k resistor or 2k resistor uh, will work fine with three LEDs in a coach like we're doing and it's pretty easy to uh, understand that so that's resistors so we'll connect all this up and we'll show you what's going on so using my NCE system, I've got the uh, the black and the red, which is I use. So I put the red connect that on, and we now got the lead the leads on. So we give that a bit of time for the uh, capacitor to charge up. Oops, the camera in front of me again. I take the red off, and there's that light. So what the capacitor is doing is just storing the power so if there's an interruption in the track power that's going to stay on. That's off there now. So you get about five seconds or so. You shouldn't have that much trouble there. So we put the red back on again and we'll get the lead. So just a, that's a test lead that I made up just with a resistor on it there so when I'm testing things handy to have some testing gear when you're doing this sort of stuff. So that'll go back into the coach when I um, connect all that up there next so we'll try that next the leads I'm uh, using I've chosen a wider lead 50-50s the, um, these are uh, what they put in caravans these days for lead lighting in caravans RV uh, etc so I just get these and I just break them off as I want them there and, uh, and uh, just pull off the ones that I want 
and uh, there they are, glued up here in the roof. They provide a, a wider beam of light to fill the um, space of the coach. Once the circuit's made up, I'm going to fit it in here. I'll cover the window um, uh, to make the toilet so that no one sees inside it there. I'll put a curtain down in there and that just fits in there nicely. So I've got to get, do the pickups onto the trucks which will be the DCC, the black and the uh, red that's coming in and then the power going out which we we saw. I've made the um, coaches uh, there that I've got it that it inserts in there a little module that goes in there and I can lift it out it'll be painted, painted there yet I'm going to do the wipers on the trucks there now these are the San Juan car company trucks this is a kit that I've built to the coach I'm just going to use some um, wet and dry and what I've done there with the wet and dry is I just scuffed up areas there so that I can put the um, circuit board on and then I'm going to put the wipers on and I'm going to use the um, 12 and a half thou phosphor bronze wire to rub on onto the back of the wheels so these the wheels have got a nice uh, shiny bright silver on the back and um, with a bit of CRC this is the um, CRC 226 that I use displaces and repels moisture penetrates lubricates protects all the metal surfaces once that goes onto the rail which I you know put onto your rail you wipe it on with a cork and um, and, a and then uh, the cork you wipe off with a clean lint rag and um, once that gets onto your rail it puts a microscopic protection coating there which is conductive and um, I've been using it for years it's it's just fantastic I also use it as lubricating on the back when I do the wipers I'll lubricate the back where the wipers are to um, to get really good reliable contact there's the wiper so uh, I've just bent a piece of the wire so that when I tin this piece here which you've always got to tin both pieces I'll do that now I'll put a bit of solder on we tin that that's now tinned that can go on to a bit of the circuit board so I've got to cut that to fit fit on the there's a piece there now I'll clean the bottom of it there so the super glue will go onto it and the super glue I use I love this stuff Loctite super gel so it's a gel now what I do there bring the camera up a bit sitting in front of me so I've got to work around it I put a bit of glue on here we pick that up we put that on there that's there now we're going to put that onto there and then trim it off and that's going to sit onto um, the back we can make that a little bit more and we get the tension here I've just got a slight curve in that so that's going to sit back there and rub so as I push that on and solder it which we can do there now in front of me We'll give it a go. Get in front of this camera. Right. 
there it is on there now. Uh, all we've got to do there then is just trim these off. So they're touching the back of the wheel. Right. So you can see that's clearing the track and it's rubbing on the back. I might trim that a little bit more. But there's enough springing on that to keep the contact without having drag on the wheel. So by the time I do, this will be the left rail, that'll be the right rail. I'm getting four pick four pickups on this side from the two trucks and four on the other side. So I'm getting regular, uh, reliable uh, power. And then we'll just run a wire from that, drill a hole through and into the coach and onto the... Um, bridge rectifier and then we'll get the lights now from uh, the underneath we've now finished those off on both ends we've run the wires through and the trucks have got enough slack in the wire so they're not going to bind and we've got the black the two blacks from each truck joined together and the two reds joined together so now we're going to join it onto the uh, join it onto the bridge rectifier. Working around the camera again here. Yeah, then that's better. Okay, time for a test. We go and put the um, NCE on. There's a track power. And there we go. Now if I take the uh, track power off, you see what I'm doing. I take that off. And the lights just starting to fade away. And put it back on. So we've got anti-flicker, which is enough in there for those three lights to um, provide lighting in there and we just tuck that in we put the roof on and we've now got light inside that's pretty good light that's inside there that I can actually see it might be a little bit brighter than normal but I'm happy with that so we're going to run that backwards and forwards and there's no flickering no light flickers and that's what we want that's what that capacitor is doing in there so there we go all i got to do is I've got to glaze the windows there of course and that but then um, that's how we're doing it so I just thought that that might be helpful to people